Howdy, 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 everyone. Tad Stevens on the Micro Success Secrets Podcast, where we focus on business psychology and marketing and how you can use that in your business daily and long term. Today, I'm talking with Jamie Martin, who is a six-time award-winning sales professional, course creator, author, podcaster, and speaker. Jamie is passionate about sales strategy, social media, and sales training to help businesses improve their revenue and processes. He helps streamline business sales strategy, enhancing a strategic approach to selling, resources, development, or developing employee sales skills, sales processes, and more. He delivers a modern full cycle sales training, including social media, marketing, prospecting, lead generation, new business conversion, client relationship management negotiation, as well as his own pioneering sales psychology program. Jamie, welcome to the show, and let me know if I missed anything. Hi, Tad. Uh, thanks for having me on the show. Delighted to be here. No, thank you for the warm and kind introduction. You you covered uh, pretty much all the services uh, I covered there. LinkedIn training is what I do quite a bit of at the moment. Obviously, LinkedIn being a, you know uh, the number one B two B platform, business to business. So uh, yeah, we'll add that in that as well. But yeah, delighted to be on the show and look forward to uh, sh- sharing information to the audience. Really. All right, super. Well, let's get started. Um, I always like leading with this question. Uh, just kind of kind of sets the stage, gets everybody to know us. If you could go back in time and you could change one business or life decision, and maybe two, I mean, if you've got two, that'd work. But if you could change a business or life decision, first off, would you change it? And secondly, if you would change it, what would you change it to? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a great question, Tad. Uh, and, I, and I definitely have uh, one, one big uh, decision I would change. And that would be to become an entrepreneur earlier in life um, and, and set up my own business a bit earlier than I did. Um, I've been in my own business now, Correct Careers Coaching, for the last two years. Thoroughly mm-hmm. enjoyed it. Uh, learned so much. Uh, it's been a really enjoyable roller coaster ride. And, and I wish I would have just done that a lot sooner. Um, uh, you know, part of the reason would be that the business would be even more developed than it is now. Mm-hmm. Um, you certainly learn a lot sort of running the business in, in all areas yourself, uh, you know, decision making, collaboration, uh, you know, the finance and operational side of the business. Um, so, yeah, that, that's definitely one decision I, I would have personally done. Um, aligned to that is probably to work with a mentor or coach a bit earlier on in business. Um, mm-hmm. You know, it, I know what it's like being a startup as, as I was when I when I ran, you know, set up my business. And you've got to think carefully about cash flow. But really, it is worth the investment, because I feel if you if you don't have a bit of guidance from, you know, someone who's who's maybe done, you know, set up their own business before, uh, maybe within your industry sector, um, you know, it, it feels like you could take the long way around in business, if in my honest opinion. So I, I would say, you know, to to the audience or any entrepreneurs looking to set up their own business, then you know, really consider working with a mentor or a coach. Now, I know that is can be challenging because uh, or, or finances, but, you know, you I took a four month career break uh, before setting up my own business. It gave me time to think, uh, gave me time to strategize uh, what I wanted to do next. So uh, or you could work maybe part time, you know, in a role and, and you know, while you're setting up yep. your own business. So a couple of suggestions there. But I will add will add on that. Um, I had a really um, fructitious career in recruitment and, and I'm actually really glad I, I was in that corporate role uh, for a good six years uh, about. And, and I learned so much in that role, which helped me to you know, set up my own business now. So although <laughs> I would have liked to have set up my own business earlier, sometimes your journey in life does lead the way to giving you those experiences, uh, those character building situations that really do help you um, when the time is right, shall we say. Yep. And my listeners and viewers have heard this time and time again, but what you just answered is by far the most common answer. So everybody listen, there it is again, is and what I, what I'm hearing is something you had passion for something you wanted to do. And so you, the only thing you want to change is doing it sooner. Yeah. And literally I hear that 60, 70% of the time for that question. So kind of related to that is if you were to look back at the decisions you've made, and it could be the same one, or, you know, it could be the same as what you just described, but if you were to look back and figure out, you know, what one decision turned out to be just super positive, 
I mean, you can, you know, divide your life into everything that happened before it and everything that happened after it. Do you have one of those? Yeah, I was, I'm going to talk about again in the business sense. Um, about a year and a half into um, running the business, uh, I, I started doing podcasts uh, as we're mm-hmm. doing today, uh, yeah. on, okay, which is great. Uh, being a guest on other, other shows and it was a, a joined um, uh, HR business podcast show. And um, from that episode, me and the uh, podcast host and uh, the, you know, owner of his own sort of HR, cons- uh, you know, business to help other HR consultancies in his own right, we collaborated. So that, that sort of interaction led on to a collaboration and together mm-hmm. we created a, a niche uh, e-learning course, uh, a sales training course for HR professionals, business partners, and HR consultants. And it was the right decision to do um, because since then um, we have had global sales. It's on a subscription model. So, so financially it's been great. But apart from that, I thoroughly enjoyed creating the course with him. Something I've never done before, something to add on as, a, as a, like an extra arm to the business model. Um, and also, you know, to, to specialize when it, in a, you know an industry sector or um, um, a, a professionalism you know sector you know it's about building relationships with personalities and people and so working with HR uh, the sector you know has been it's been really you know ex- enjoyable um, yeah so so that was such a great decision but it just goes to show you know that one thing leads on to another and it's sort of absolutely you've got to take those chances and risks and you've got to have those interactions and correspondence with people while you can because you never know what would come out of it so yeah. Great segue into the next question, which is what business decision do you think was the scariest? And again, um, it can be the same one. It's not the same one, uh, but it was leaving the corporate role I had, uh, as okay. I mentioned, uh, you know, uh, about six years in recruitment, you know, and the reason why it's been sort of the scariest is because you are stable, you've spent a lot of time investing in your career, having the, the company invest within you, you know the job, you're doing well, mm-hmm. uh, financially it's good, you know, should you take that leap of faith um, to leave all of that behind and, and, and going into, you know, huge risk setting up your own business, for me it was even a slightly change in my background because it wasn't recruitment I went on to doing it was like sales training and sales strategy so and Mm -hmm. you know sales coaching so even then it's it's a you know a a change in what you're used to doing um but for me it it has paid off um and sometimes you've got to take that leap of faith so absolutely and again um everybody listen because uh Jamie, what you just said is another answer that when people take that least leap of faith, when they leave that, that structure and what I've noticed in, in my coaching and consulting career is um, that structure is a lot more than people give credit to. You don't realize how much structure, how much security, how much comfort is there until you leave it. And what I, the point I want to make here is that's okay. It can be scary. And it can be uncomfortable. That's normal. We all do it. It's part of what we do. Just like you said, you just, you did it. It was scary, but you went ahead and did it, which leads to the next question I've got is when you come upon big decisions like that or small decisions, um, do you have a method or an approach that you use for yourself and that you'd recommend to others on how to get through those decisions? How do you, how do you deal with the fear, the unknown, and go ahead and process and get through that decision. Do you have a way that you could share on that? Well, personally, I do a lot of my thinking while I exercise. <laughs> there you, oh, you and me both. Oh, yeah. excellent. <laughs> um, so if, if, I, if I'm in two minds about something, I'll usually go for a run and it clears my mind. It and does. It, usually, it really yeah, does. It really does. And it usually helps me to process, okay, you know, what are the sort of logical steps I need to take or what do I need to think about or do to help me with that decision I suppose the the, the realistic answer is you know for a major decision you could do a pros and cons list um, mm-hmm. that certainly can help you 
you know, sway either way. And when you're writing things down, obviously it helps you to, to retain and process the information, you know, a lot easier. And then you can kind of brainstorm like, you know, subsidiaries of those answers. And, you know, so that's a really useful way of doing it. Um, I think for me, it's about your support network. So whether it's your family, friends or, or business network, you know, go and talk to people or, or, you know, listen to podcasts like this one you're listening to, to you know, um, or read um, or, you know, influencers follow what they did you know learn mm -hmm. from other people's uh, decision making uh, mistakes and successes um, and, and speak to people you know that that can that can advise you at the end of the day it's your decision but the more people you sort of discuss with and explore different opinions um, and, and different sort of thoughts it's going to really sort of help you in in your decision making um, stages but yeah those are a couple of suggestions I would suggest there love that and I love you I gotta mention the exercise one um, again, because yesterday I was, I was struggling with something. It wasn't a huge decision, but it was something I needed to work out. And so I decided I'd go on a hike. We live in the mountains in Colorado. So I went on a hike and, um, walking up one particular, particularly, uh, steep hill, uh, as I was gasping for breath, it just popped in my mind. I just, it's, it was like, you know, my most important thing I was working on right at the moment was breathing. And I just let go of all the other. And when I did, the answer just came. And so I've, I've got it on my list. I'm working on it today. So I love love the others as well, the pros and cons list, um, and also bouncing ideas off other people. I think that is huge. And I think also that's where a coach comes in. That is something that, I, that to me is very valuable at that stage, if you have something like that, that you can bounce an idea off a coach. So. Absolutely kind of getting to the end here want to wrap up with one last question because um i just i like this question and at the end of the day i believe that there's more to what we're doing as entrepreneurs especially in the area that we're in that than just making money now making money is important you got to pay bills it allows you to do all those things that you want to do but that kind of leads into what are some of those things that you want to do what is your passion what what gets you out of bed as a lot of people say in the morning, what gets you up, what gets you going um, day in, day out, even when things are bad and things don't work out? It's a great question, Tad. And I think you need to have a bit of self-reflection time and a bit of resetting time, probably monthly, work out what your passions are, what your motivations are. Yeah. Why are you doing what you're doing, you know, because uh, that's going to drive you. Um, and for me, you know, it's, it hasn't always been money. I, I thrive on achievements, um, especially being a trainer. Um, I like to achieve it myself to demonstrate to others that it can be done. So mm -hmm. in a business sense, you know, that that's what really I get up in the morning to go out there and challenge myself and do something that I didn't think I could do before. Um, and, you know, for me, it's now building relationships on a global basis and, you know, being being known to others for what you do in business that that really drives me you know is is, is achievements mm -hmm. um and and in lifestyle you know it's about finding that suitable work-life balance for yourself you know and you know being an entrepreneur you you can do that effectively obviously you need to earn money to you know for financial reasons but i sure. think you know it, it gets me up in the morning is that quality of time with the people in your life and if you can really identify your motivations, your, your drivers um, and, and what your goals are and do this, you know, often, you know, really keeps you going through any uh, challenges or successes you achieve, um, you know, throughout the time, basically. Excellent. Excellent. Jamie, thank you very much for sharing. Really appreciate your time today. Um, Going to start to wrap up a little bit, but wanted to ask, is there anything that you'd like to close with? Anything you want to leave the listeners and viewers? Uh, a quote is personalities will thrive. Um, from, from myself. And the reason is because that in, in anything you do in business, um, it's about building uh, that no like, and trust, that rapport um, with individuals. So it's about their personality and your personality and, and communication styles. And remember that one, because it's really important, not just in a sort of a, a selling capacity, but in, in collaboration and synergizing uh, capacity. So yeah, it's all about building rapport with different personalities. Um, uh, for myself, I do have a free giveaway um, or a video conference meeting guide. Obviously, we've been in a lot of video conferencing, mm -hmm. uh, you know, recently more than ever. So if you go onto my website, correctcareerscoaching.com and, and you sign up to the newsletter, um, I will provide you with a free guide on video conference meetings. Outstanding. And I love that. I'll make sure that the 
the quote on personalities is in the show notes along with other notes as well. Uh, and also your contact information so people can, uh, can find you that way. Thanks again, Jamie. Really, really appreciate your time. Uh, thanks to everybody for listening in. Have a very safe and productive week and be the very, very best at whatever it is that you're doing. Until next time, this is Tad Stevens with Micro Success Secrets. Bye for now.